Dogs, we know our man's best friend, but for one-year-old South Carolina dog, Sonny, his BFF is a brick. <laughs> According to Sonny's owner, the brick has been used to prevent the corner of the rug from curling over ever since he was rescued as a puppy, but Sonny prefers to play with the brick, naps with the brick, kisses the brick, and chews the brick. The brick is everything to Sonny. Arvid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's going on? You know, we really don't know what goes through a lot of these dogs' minds as to why they attach to certain things because I know the brick is odd, but trust me, there are other odd things that, you know, dogs are attached to. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> you name it. I mean, pieces of clothing. I have dogs that, yeah, chew underwear all the time, and they're, they stack pile them under the bed, <laughs> and they guard them, and if you try to go take them, they can become what's called possessive aggression oh. and attack you. Sounds so cool. when you see things like this, actually, you know, when dogs become attached, it can be for a variety of reasons. Size, smell, shape. The fact that the owner put that brick down to keep the carpet down. To that dog, the owner gave that brick to him. And so he's like, oh, this is mine? Why, thank you. Like, yeah. And part of my space and my turf. And exactly. Don't, and don't mess with it. And don't mess with it. And that can become a problem because sometimes, even though it's cute, some of these can lead to obsessive compulsive disorders. And so what you want to do is reteach them that they don't need the brick or whatever object they're attached to. And a lot of times treats are involved with that because you kind of want to reteach them to think that the brick is associated with something negative and not positive. So you can bring something different, introduce it, Pet them, yeah, this is, this is good. This is Sonny, a good do you ball. want the brick or do you want or prime the, rib? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what you do, and you give them a treat, you praise them, but you don't praise them with the brick, and you kind of want to ease the brick away <sighs> and slowly get them to where they're not used to having that brick around. But it's, it can become a problem because when they become obsessive, it can cause them damage, but it can cause you damage or a child, especially a child not knowing, and they go to pick up the brick and the dog lashes out and bites them. Oh, so, I you didn't know, even think about that. So, yeah. yeah, you're right. You don't want your dog obsessing about any object because God any forbid object. a kid grabs it, you never know what will happen. He's Arvid, he's Dr. Edward, he's the best <laughs> vet we know. Thank you. Thank you.